What's up guys, it's the Actual Justice Warrior here, and today we're going to talk about Lacey Green and Riley J. Dennis. Okay, so I don't do a lot of talking about other YouTubers, mostly because I don't really care about other YouTubers. If somebody says something dumb and I want to talk about that specific thing, I might use their clip as like an example and then move forward. However, occasionally there's information about another YouTuber that's just too big for me to ignore. So I do a video on that and I give my thoughts and opinions because maybe you guys care about my thoughts and opinions on a particular topic. This is true for Lacey Green and my Lacey Green video. Now when I made the video about Lacey Green supposedly taking the red pill, I wanted to make the video in line with the idea that she has the worst intentions possible. Now I didn't do this because necessarily that's what I believe, because in my opinion, even if she was doing it 100% for money or for fame, I thought that the outcome was still very positive. All of that being said, and all of that out in the open, I still think it's perfectly fine for Lacey Green to make this transformation and for her to host these debates, even if it's for financial reasons. The reality is social justice is on the decline. People are not buying into this shit. They're tired of being scared to say anything. They're tired of being calling racist, sexist, homophobic, transphobic over everything. And the fact is one of the reasons that social justice is failing is because of their refusal to debate. So whether it's for financial reasons or for any other reason, the fact that Lacey wants to bring these two sides together so that they can hash out their ideas is a great thing. That being said, I was operating without all the information available, and now that there's new information that came to light, I want to address it again with more information. So as said in my previous video, if Lacey Green decided to quote unquote take the red pill so that she could make more money or get more fame or become more relevant, I really didn't think that that was such a bad thing because if she were to host live debates on her channel that would provide a lot of people with exposure that they wouldn't normally get and the fact that she would have felt that it was in her best interest to talk to the other side would have been a great thing even if it was for financial reasons. So even back in my previous video I didn't really care what her reasoning was because no matter what her reasoning was even if it was as cynical as possible it didn't really matter because the end result would have been a net positive. However, I didn't realize that she was dating another YouTuber on the anti-feminist side. And after seeing the backlash that she's got, I would have to lean toward maybe she just wanted to get away from those sucky people rather than this was an elaborate plan for her to make a shit ton of money. So while I stand by everything in my previous Lacey Green video, if I gave the impression that that is what I thought absolutely was her motivation, then I just wanted to fix that. Again, I was operating under the logic that even if this was true, who cares? Next up is Riley J. Dennis. Recently, Riley posted like a 30 minute video on her channel detailing the steps of her transition and announcing that she's gonna get facial feminization surgery. Now, if you haven't seen the video and you're at all interested, I do recommend you watch it. It's by far one of the best videos that Riley's ever made in her entire life. However, what's more interesting in this video is the response that most people have given to it. It's mostly positive, which I'm sure is new for Riley. And now there's this call for people on the anti-SJW side to retract things that they've said that were negative about Riley. The call seems to specifically relate to times that these people have misgendered Riley, but since these videos also contain criticisms of RJ's ideas, it also is kind of a call for censorship, even if it's inadvertent. So what should happen to my videos and other people's videos about Riley in the past? Well, for mine, nothing. I actually never misgendered Riley in any of my videos about her. Now you identify as a woman and I'll call you fucking she, her, whatever the fuck you want me to call you because I really don't give a fuck. I mean, outside of the fact that you literally are pushing me towards suicide because you're so fucking stupid, like you have no impact on my life. You see, you are finding straight women and that's totally fine. You should be totally cool with that. As long as you really believe that you're a woman in your mind, then you're still a lesbian. And this isn't me virtue signaling. I definitely thought RJ was a trans trender through and through. And I was operating under the assumption that RJ was doing nothing to transition. Even though it's clearly obvious that all you did was grow your hair out, which is nice by the way. Put on some fucking stupid ass eyeliner, put on some like lip balm or fucking lip gloss and wear a woman's shirt. You know what? I'm fucking on board and I will support you. However, the reason I didn't publicly misgender Riley, which by the way was really fucking hard to do, I had to cut out a bunch of them in every video, was because I don't give a shit about RJ's personal life or what RJ does. It's the ideas that are a spouse that I was going after. Misgendering trans people is an act of violence because I would argue that sex needs to go through the same change that gender has already gone through. It's not Did a static a trans fact, person? it's a social Honestly? construct. Think about it for a second. Okay, got your answer? 
Well, if you said no, I'm sorry, but that's pretty discriminatory. However, in an effort to fight violence worldwide, this is the definition that the WHO came up with, and it explicitly includes non-physical forms into it, of the violence. They say non-physical forms of violence. And if you were to say that, this video is a part of my feminism. So let me be 100% clear, I stand by everything, and I mean everything in my previous videos. And the fact that you might personally now believe that Riley's trans shouldn't change your opinion on any of Riley's ideas. I've criticized Riley for saying that trans women aren't biologically male. I've criticized Riley for saying that your dating preferences are racist, sexist, transphobic. They're not. I've criticized Riley for saying that misgendering somebody, aka using the wrong pronouns, is an act of violence. It's not an act of violence. So for me, nothing has changed. Riley was just as wrong when everybody thought she was a dude, and she's just as wrong when everybody thinks she's a chick. And that's because we're not, or at least we should not be, identitarians. Ideas exist in and of themselves. An idea that's wrong is not all of a sudden correct just because it comes from somebody who's a member of a special group. Now, for the people who have been misgendering RJ, should they apologize? Honestly, that's up to them. I don't really give a shit what anybody else does with their channel. The fact is, when you don't know anything, you have to operate on the best information available. A lot of channels already feel like they did that, and even if they make a change going forward, that doesn't mean retroactively everything they did in the past was wrong. Some of the other channels that misgendered Riley are comedy channels, and I don't think you have to apologize for things that you said as jokes about a public figure. It's part of their shtick, and just like other people, if they want to change their channel going forward, that's on them, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they should retract everything going backward. Now that we've got all that out of the way, I just want to wish RJ a speedy recovery. And if you do feel the need to follow the link in my description to RJ's full video, and you want to leave a comment, just remember the fact that RJ is a person. And while you might find her ideas borderline retarded, you should try to avoid personal attacks and go after the argument. And although I'm definitely not the boss of any of you and I can't control whatever you do, maybe leave a comment also wishing Riley a speedy recovery. Anyway, that's all I really have for you guys today. Let me know what you think about these new developments in the comments. If you like this video, then please show me by leaving a like. You can follow me on all my social medias, subscribe for more content. This has been the Actual Justice Warrior. Till next time.